I am proud to say that I have officially completed 75 hard. I am genuinely so, so proud of myself. And I just want to say that 75 hard literally changed my life. Hands down, it changed my life. The one thing I've always struggled with for the longest time is I felt like I was a deadbeat. I felt like I was very, very lazy. I lacked discipline. Discipline, I used to always say that the, the one thing that, the one missing piece in my life is discipline. And if, that, if I had discipline, my life would completely change. And completing 75 hard kind of showed me that discipline isn't out of hand's reach. It just requires work, consistent, consistent work. And Alhamdulillah, I put in that work and I completed 75 hard. I completely changed my lifestyle. Um, three, four months ago, my default state was I, was, I was very lazy. I was very disappointed in myself. I saw the immense amount of potential that I had and I constantly just kept letting myself down. My lifestyle consisted of just, you know, like scrolling through TikTok, watching movies, eating whatever tasted good, um, not exercising. I was getting fat. I, um, you know, like I wasn't re really making any progress in my life. I wasn't making progress when it came to my faith. Everything was just like at a low point. And what that led to was me developing this really negative self-talk. I used to just like say some really mean things to myself because like I said, I saw the immense amount of potential I had and the only thing preventing me from reaching the success that I knew I was capable of, capable of was myself, was my lack of discipline, lack of consistently showing up for myself, which would lead to my demise, which would lead to my failure. And I decided that I would, I would do this challenge. Um, you know, my friend Ian started it as well and that kind of pushed me to get started. I wrote down like what I want to do. I started it once, I like stopped. I, I developed like this like foot injury which took me off for like two weeks. And it's so funny because like I went one full week doing it and I felt great and I stopped and once again, just it's so, it's so crazy to think that one week I saw so much change happen in my life. And then as soon as that week ended and when I was like, I'm gonna take a break from my foot to heel so I can exercise once again, just like, not just like gradual fall, I just plummeted. Cause I just, you know, it's like one week is not enough to develop a lifestyle. Um, so I, I took some time off and I started again. And this time, Alhamdulillah, I was consistent. I told myself that I had three strikes if I need to take any days off. I didn't use any of those strikes. Uh, every day I showed up no matter what. There was days where I would come back home at like, like 10, 11 p.m. and I still had exercise to complete, I would finish the exercise. I still had work, work to do, I would do it. Um, and those were days I felt really proud of myself. Even yesterday, I, I came home like really late at like 3, 4 p.m. and I had to drink a gallon of water and I was, I was pissing every like 10 minutes, but I finished it, no excuses whatsoever. And I feel like what works best for my mind, what I've like learned is that if I want to truly like unlock that potential that I have within myself, for me personally, like it's not gonna be through motivation. It has to be through discipline and discipline will only, like I can only develop discipline by adding structure to my life. And 75 hard did exactly that. So the challenges that I focused on, like I kind of customized what I did. And to be quite honest, like I, I wouldn't say I did like the 75 hard hard. I did like a 75 sustainable because I was thinking about like, what are, what are things I can implement into my life that I can stick to after the 75 hard challenge completes. So, um, I had to stick to a diet. I'm not gonna say I was sticking to a strict diet. I wanted to have a balanced diet. And to be honest, now like the diet that I developed, I can see myself actually sticking to it. And that diet was effective. I was able to lose 15 pounds in 75 days. I think maybe even more, honestly, I still need to check my weight, but like when I checked a week ago, I, I was at like, when I started the challenge, I was at like 202 pounds. Um, and now I'm at, uh, I'm at like 184, 185. So that's like huge progress. and. That's by like, just like being a little bit more mindful and conscious about the food that I was, uh, that I was consuming, you know, like, like cutting out like fried food, cutting out, um, just like sauces and stuff, just being a little bit more mindful, like just like one ex just one small filter of thought a lot, one small filter of like thought and hesitation allowed me to like cut that. And that's huge. And I know if I can stick to like an actual, like consistent diet, um, I would lose so much more weight and I would, I would get shredded. And that's something I want to focus on in the future. But so yeah, first one was 
uh, sticking to a diet. Second one was um, two workouts a day. So two 45 minute workouts, one has to be outdoor. Um, I did that a lot of days. I just went for a walk. A lot of days I went, I just went for two walks. That's it. But it was about showing up every single day. Yesterday, when I was really, really tired, I just went on a long walk, hour 30 walk. And I still was like, okay, I showed up. That's the most important thing. Third was um, reading a book, which I supplemented for reading Quran. So every day I decided I would read two pages of the Quran and I stuck to that. And I'm so grateful for that because I added like a level of faith. Like I, I connected like my faith into this some kind of heart because I thought about what are the things that are most important in my life and faith was one of them. And this was a huge addition. On top of that, one of my rules was I have to obviously drink a gallon of water, which thank God I'm done, man. I'm, that's one thing. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not drinking a gallon of water every single day. I don't like the idea of having to piss every 10 minutes. I'm watching a movie and I have to pee two times. That is insane. I'm not going to walk out of the theater two times to watch a movie. So I'm not going to damage my bladder. To be honest, it got to a point where I feel like I was damaging my bladder because I had to hold my pee so much. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking that. No way. Uh, the biggest, one of the biggest rules, which is like such a small rule was no phone past 10 30 PM and no phone in bed in the morning period. Yo, these changes made such a big difference because I had a very bad habit of just and mindlessly scrolling at night until it's like 2 AM. I couldn't sleep, open my phone. So I removed that completely and it was, it was amazing. Um, I think there was a couple other things that I had as well, but I'm not I can't remember what else it was, but I had like minor ones. Like I wanted to like start doing a skincare routine. So I started doing that. That one, I wasn't as strict about. I wouldn't say I would include in the 75 heart challenges, but it was something I was trying to do. So, um, you know, in the morning I would apply like moisturizer to my face and night I would, you know, like apply like a, a cleanser. Um, uh, what else? Um, I'm trying to think. So prayer, food, water, Oh, journal. I was journaling every single day. So I would say like, yeah, I would say these six things I stuck to. And I've come to a point now where, you know, before I was in a place where I was, I had this really negative self-talk because I saw my potential and I saw like how I was preventing myself from reaching that. And that led me to just being like really, like really depressed, like really just, I hated myself. I really, really hated myself. And slowly as I did some rap hard, like at the midway point, I reached this like, kind of like breaking point where that relationship with myself where I was so mean to myself turned into something positive because I kind of proved to like it, that inner critic that like, yo, we can do this and we're putting in work. So, you know, there's like that two sides where it's like you're, you're like critic and then like who you really are. And before it's like my critic was really harsh and like I was being a deadbeat. And to be honest, that critic was valid. You know, a critic could have been nicer, but like those expectations were definitely like very, very valid. And eventually what happened is that like, as I started leveling up, my critics started like realizing that like, yo, we can do this and we're on the right track. It's gonna take time, but it's like, we kind of like met in this middle ground where there was this balance now, where I started actually being so much nicer to myself. And I noticed that my mental health improved so much that it, it was like before, like the, like on average, I would tend to, I, I would tend to be really hard on myself and I would kind of be in a bad mood. But towards the middle point, as I started going towards the end of, uh, of 75 hard, I started with it, developing this positive relationship with myself where I saw my potential and I was like, yo, let's do this. Like we got this. And I realized like, it just like opened up this like breadth of opportunities. Bre I don't know if that's the right word, but like just like so many opportunities. Like I've realized that I can actually accomplish anything. And like, as I'm completing this challenge, I'm realizing that like I can actually accomplish anything if I make a plan. Willpower is not enough. Willpower is not enough for 99.9% .9 of people. Like most of us need systems in place to, to push us, to force us every single day to show up. And this is the one, this is the first time in my life I have consistently stuck to a lifestyle for so long. Like I've done habits here and there, but like this lifestyle, this is the longest I've ever stuck to anything. And I'm so proud of myself for doing that. And you know, another thing I realized is that, you know, real change doesn't happen in a few days. Real change takes months to years uh, to really happen. So consistency and a plan are the most important things. Yo, that thunder is crazy. Consistency is really, really important. And I consistently showed up for myself every single day. And I'm so proud of that. And I need to continue consistently sticking to myself. Um, 
you know, I, I, I and it's, you know, I got to a point where like, I wasn't necessarily going out as much, but I still felt fine. I felt okay with that. And I'm a very social and outgoing person. But like, you know, like now when it's like, when I need to hang out with friends, it's not like, yo, let's go grab food. Cause food will always be like burgers, pizza, wings, something unhealthy. Now it's like, yo, let's play tennis. So like, I genuinely actually started like, now I started hanging out with my friends. Like we're doing positive things. I mean, not positive things, but like we're doing physical activities, which is, you know, mutually beneficial. We're having a, we're having a fun time and we're exercising at the same time. So I started developing this lifestyle and I don't want to stop. Um, like one big epiphany I had a few days ago, actually, maybe, maybe like a, more so like a week ago is that once upon a time when I started 75 hard, I felt like this lifestyle is impossible. Like no way I could see myself doing that. And I started it in the beginning. I was struggling, but to be honest, now that I'm at the end of it, that was easy. Like that actually feels easy. I could keep going for another 25 days. I could go like hundred hard, you know, um, because like I, I, I made it in a way where it was sustainable, but also like once you get used to it, it's not that hard. And what I realized is that like, you know what it feels like, which is kind of like intimidating at the same time is that after 75 days of dedicating myself to like implement this change, I feel like I've just shown up at the I've just shown up at the starting line. Like, I feel like I'm just getting started. And there are some, you know, like, for example, like when it comes to faith, right? I remember once upon a time, the idea of praying five times a day was like just impossible. I'm like, yo, no way I, I can do that. That feels impossible. But what's so crazy is that once you get to a point where you start consistently praying five times a day, you realize you still have such a long way to go in the sense that like, yeah, you're doing the bare minimum. But you know, before it's like, yo, I started praying five times a day. Let's go. Like, I'm, I'm good now. I'm good, right? But like you realize that now you started praying consistently, there's like quality of prayers. There's more like du'as that you want to learn. Like there's so much more improvement still left. And like for me, I've come to a point now where it's like I've, I did serve my heart and like I developed this positive lifestyle. But it's like, okay, like how can we level this up? Like how can we like, how can we like change this from like not just being like, yo, let's just going through the motions, but being more intentional, right? So for example, like going to the gym is a great habit to have. But now how can I go to the gym and actually like, put in an intense workout and like really, really push myself and dedicate myself, right? Because sometimes like you do habits with like your eyes closed on autopilot. Same thing with like, same thing with like writing, right? Like I feel like right now, when I was writing every single day, my quality of writing was not that good. I was like, I just need to check this box out. But now I want to like be more intentional and like take that level further. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to think about like, what is a challenge that I can do for the next like around 50 days? Because in about, two months in 60 days inshallah my family and I are planning to go to Pakistan and I want to try to dedicate the next like around 50 days so I'm going to give myself like a week to just like take it easy and then after that I want to start a new challenge where it's like for 50 days um what what are my daily habits that I have to stick to and those habits there will be like less things I'm gonna have to do but I want to like focus on start focus on the quality of the output for that and I'm still writing those things down. So like some of them are like similar to like what I had before. Um, like I want to, well, for one, I want to really start reading books. Like that is something that I want to really develop a habit of because I realized that the smartest people in the world are avid readers. They're always reading. So I want to really develop that habit because I want to become a smart person. And this is like how I think, you know, in the sense that it's like, I'm, I think about like what, who do I want to become? Like, what are characteristics that I see in other people that I want to someday have? And when I look up to some of the people that I respect, they always tend to be people who read a lot of books. Like they have bookshelves filled with books. And those people are very smart, very wise. And I want to become someone, someone like that. So how do I become someone like that? Develop the habit of reading books. When I think about people who are like really fit and like have like a really healthy lifestyle, they consistently go to the gym, they consistently exercise. So how can I become a person like that? By consistently exercising. When I look at people that have like a really high level of faith that are always very calm, I think, well, how can I become that person? It's by showing up every single day, like praying five times a day, increasing my knowledge about Islam, like doing all these things. So, and like, you know, like, so I, I wrote on these habits. So I want to like, you know, like still, I want to try to exercise every single day. And if that's like just going on a walk, that's enough. But then I want to do like four workouts that are like actually intense. Like I want to really push myself, um, whether that's going to the gym, whether that's like playing soccer, whatever it is. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. But 
like working out every single day, doing exercise every single day before those workouts have to be intense. 45 minutes, that's it. Um, no phone past 10, 30 p.m. I want to stick to that because that one little hack just changed everything for me. Um, I want to um, I want to dedicate more time to writing and reading. Reading, I need to figure out some sort of system. And what I mean by system is like, it's not just like you'll read every single day. It's going to be something like I have to sit down and read for 30 minutes every single day. Something like that. I still want to think about that because I want to wire my brain. I used to always say that like, oh, I'm too ADHD to like read. No. For lack of better words, F that. I don't want to ever make excuses. If ADHD is what's preventing me from being being like a knowledgeable person, sorry, I'm not going to let ADHD prevent me from being a knowledgeable person. No way. I'm going to figure it out. Um, I'm going to like, I need to push myself through it. So that's what I'm doing. No excuses. I want to, I want to figure that out. I want to figure out writing. I want to, I, one thing I, I, was, I was really passionate about at one point was learning Arabic. I want to develop some sort of system where I'm consistently like on a weekly basis, maybe like dedicating time to learning Arabic. Uh, I love that language and I want to spend more time learning it. So these are like a bunch of different things that I want to really work on. But moral of story is that 75 hard changed my life in the sense that it reminded me that like the potential that I see myself is is valid it's real and it's accessible but it's only accessible through intention and a plan there's a big difference between being a dreamer and being someone that has a plan dreamers they have their heads in the clouds they're just thinking about who they can be and they want to be that person and that's it it stops there, right there right it's just they're just thinking about it but the difference between bet but the difference between a dreamer and a planner is a planner makes a concrete blueprint a game plan on how to how to accomplish their dreams and what i did with 75 hard is i made a plan and i followed it and i was actually i've actually gotten one step closer to accomplish my accomplishing my dreams and i want to continue doing that so i have a i have a vision in my head of the man that i want to be and if i, if I want to manifest that if i want that to become a reality i need to make a plan and i need to stick to it because 75 hard has proven to me this is why it's changed my life it's proven to me that like if i make a plan and i consistently stick to it anything is possible so i just need to do that for the rest of my life and the thing is that like like i said in in the beginning you know when i used to tell my friends i have to do this they're like yo that's crazy like that's just out of, out of reach but there's this like there's this kanye quote and no hate to anyone who like said this was crazy but gold so big that small-minded people can't comprehend them like i said no hate to people who think this is like a crazy lifestyle but i used to say this but i didn't really manifest it you want to have gold so big that small-minded people think it's impossible and i want to set bigger and bigger goals sorry forget goals i want to i want to implement bigger and bigger and scarier plans that i know i have the ability to execute on and from the outside it's gonna look psychotic like what is this guy doing why would you like make your life like that but you know what's so crazy even with 75 hard there wasn't a point where i felt miserable there wasn't any point where i was like yo this is too much like what am i doing as a matter of fact it was the complete opposite i felt alive and i know that I know I know my fine line. I know my line between like living a life of discipline and enjoying life. And to be honest with 75 Heart, I didn't cross that line. I didn't cross that line where like I was like, yo, this is too much discipline. I'm not having fun. I had a blast. You can see the happiness on my face right now. And I want to double down on that. Because I know that implementing plans like this are going to help me become the man that I want to become. And that is the most important thing in my life. And inshallah, inshallah, by the will of God, and by consistently showing up for myself, I'm going to continuously, day by day, get closer and closer to becoming that man that I, as a kid, dreamt of becoming. This is just the beginning. This is... This is just the beginning. We're just getting started, baby.